Hey everyone! Welcome to 601 Travels. We already told you why Little Rock is a great place in another video, but in this one, we're going to tell you why you should think twice about settling down here and calling it home. Before we get started, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join our travel community. We do top 10s just like this one, plus city tours and highway drives. Make sure you smash that notification bell so you don't miss a future upload. Here's our list of the top 10 reasons you should not move to Little Rock, Arkansas. Number 10. Mosquitoes The unofficial state bird for Arkansas is the mosquito, and Little Rock is the state capital and coincidentally right in the middle of Arkansas. These little suckers really put a damper on any outdoor plans you may have during the summer months, and there's a high concentration of West Nile cases here every year. There are also carriers for fun things like Zika, malaria, and yellow fever. Pest control businesses make a killing here because of the mosquitoes and other things like ticks, spiders, and roaches. At the very least, large amounts of bug repellent are required to do basically everything outside for any amount of time, even if you wear long sleeves and pants during summer. Number 9. No Nightlife Recent studies show that the younger crowds in Little Rock, college age through 35, are very unhappy with the choice of nightlife type activities that are offered. They just aren't satisfied and left to live alternate lives. There are in fact nightclubs for the kids to go clubbing, but they are usually unsafe and have a lot of problems with fighting and violence from Mr. Steal Your Girl type of people. Little Rock doesn't have the same type of night scene as many other cities of similar size. Something to keep in mind if you're into going to clubs, dancing, and mingling with other partygoers. Number 8. Poor Do you like to be broke? You're looking at the right place. Little Rock doesn't have jobs that like to pay you enough to live a decent life. It'll give you just enough to get by and maybe treat yourself once in a while to something small, like a trip to McDonald's. This goes away if you're married or have a girlfriend because they are expensive. The average adult is only going to be making about $30,000 per year here and the sales tax is a whopping 28% higher than the rest of the country. With all that said, the unemployment is actually lower than 10% of the national average, but the poverty level is 23% higher. What does this mean? It means more people are working in this city compared to others of its size, but they are still broke AF. If your spouse or significant other doesn't work, consider asking them to get a job or give them subtle hints like a Burger King application on their pillow. Number 7. Wildlife Since Little Rock is surrounded by a lot of topography that can only be categorized as friendly for our furry little friends, it makes sense that sometimes even animals make mistakes and venture into the city. It is not uncommon to see things like deer, bears, and fox wandering around. Luckily, there's a wildlife refuge here that helps take in animals right before they're hunted and mounted underneath a Budweiser light track. Residents often carry bear spray in their vehicles just in case they run into a wild animal and are in danger. They also do that in case they unexpectedly wind up in a bad part of town, but we'll touch on that in a minute. Number 6. The crime. The crime issues in Little Rock aren't so little. The violent crime averages are 300% higher than the rest of the country. That's almost like New Orleans or St. Louis levels. A lot of bad things happen here. As a matter of fact, if you're in a Piggly Wiggly with 13 other people, one of you will become the victim of an assault, robbery, or maybe even something worse. Neighborhoods are constantly ravaged by thieves that burglarize houses and cars. The crime here is so bad that even the criminals are moving out daily, rather than live in constant fear. Number 5. Weather Almost 50 tornadoes hit Arkansas each year due to its position and favorable weather patterns. It's not uncommon for residents in Little Rock to have a tornado warned or actual tornadoes come through their community. Along with the threats of tornadoes, severe weather like thunderstorms, torrential rains, hail, and lightning often come over from neighboring states like Oklahoma and unleash hell. It snows, but not often. Winters are cold and usually just very wet and cloudy, really great for sleeping in or questioning life choices. 
Summers are often like southern summers, hot and muggy. The kind of hot that makes you realize that you don't want to go to hell when you die. There's really no in between either. It goes from one to another and you don't have the time to prepare for it. Number 4. Clintons One of the worst thing about Little Rock is the connections it has to our former disgraced President Clinton and his family. The Clinton Museum Store, Clinton Library and Museum, Clinton Foundation, Clinton National Airport, Clinton School of Public Service, Clinton Library, Clinton Presidential Park Bridge, Clinton's Children's Library and Learning Center, you get the idea. The Clinton presence is everywhere here. Everywhere you look, you'll be reminded of the Oval Office incident and the stained dress. I am surprised there isn't a Clinton dry cleaner in town. It isn't a popular opinion to be against the Clintons or non-blue in general living there because you will definitely feel discriminated against no matter what you try to do. Number 3. Bad food making people fat. Little Rock has some great food. That down south good old fashioned cooking like fried Twinkies, chicken breast, Oreos, and chitlins. Unfortunately, it's everywhere you look and easy to go through a drive through to get some. Over 35% of the city is on the fluffy side according to studies, making it one of the most obese cities in the United States. Things like high blood pressure, diabetes, and heart disease are common here and a lot of people have them. What makes it hard is that if you meet new friends or start dating someone, you might not know them too long because they might experience loss of life due to one of these issues prematurely. If you are forced to live here, try to make good choices like eating at Subway or somewhere more on the healthy side. Number 2. Rural the city of Little Rock itself may have stores for shopping, places to go eating, and a few clubs for dancing if you're feeling spicy, but as soon as you leave the city, you can tell you are out of the city. There's really no other cities of considerable size for miles. Memphis, Dallas, Tulsa, Jackson are all hours away. If there's a sporting event, concert, convention, or touring act that isn't coming to Little Rock, you will have to travel to one of these larger cities. That also affects a lot of other important things, especially if you have health issues because you might have to travel to other cities for medical procedures or enhancements. At the end of the day, Little Rock is a city that has city features but doesn't have a whole lot of what other cities have with the exception of crime. Number 1. Better Options There are about 5 distinct regions of Arkansas that provide amenities and accommodations that you won't find in Little Rock. Unless you enjoy living in a city that's riddled with crime, you could opt to move to another part of the state that would be much more enjoyable or suitable for your lifestyle. The Ozark Mountain region isn't too far north and the Arkansas Valley is even closer, both providing a more relaxed setting, houses that have some land and breathing room, not to mention great views and clean air. Most people don't live in Little Rock unless they absolutely have to and at the least live in a suburb. The further away from downtown, the better. Alright everyone, that'll do it for today's video. Do you live in or love Little Rock? Maybe you hate it. While you're still here, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. That makes us really happy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye y'all.